Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Planner Girl Meek here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we are working on week six of homeschool. I can't believe it's been six weeks and it has been going so good. I just finished progress report for him. Um, he wanted to still have a progress report even though he's in homeschool. So I did that for him. Um, and it also kind of helps me to, you know, keep track of my grading records before I have to turn them in. But anywho, um, we learned about Christopher Columbus this week. We've also been learning about, um, we learned about Christopher Columbus in history. And in our English language arts class, we are learning about um, Mexican culture. And he got to draw an amazing um, volcano using pastels. So homeschool is going extremely well. Um, but let's get into decorating this spread because yeah, I'm a homeschool mama, but I am a digital girl too. Mm -hmm. So we are using this kit from Shushka Shop. Um, this is the fall digital stickers and oh y'all this kit is jam-packed with so much i believe there's like four or five um pages that you can use and i mean i just went for it i did use this one along with another um sticker kit that i got and I think I talked about it in my last video. I'm not sure, but I'll have links to it down below where I got like a bundle of autumn stickers for like less than a dollar. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when you go on Etsy, just search fall clip art. You're welcome. <laughs> um, but anywho, I am using this beautiful front door um, to accent the corner um, of my spread. I always like to accent all four corners. So all four corners will be decorated, including the bottom, um, bottom washi, as we called it in the uh, paper and pen world. Um, but I like to decorate that bottom portion. Um, and so I am going through all of my stickers trying to figure out what I want to add on here so I'm just randomly like grabbing stickers and pulling them over um, stretching them out making them bigger seeing if I like how that looks if I like that vibe um, literally when I plan my my weekly spreads I don't have like a thought in my like this is what I want it to look like it's it's literally you are watching the process of it when I do my journaling spreads I kind of have like a vision in my head um, of what I think I want it to look like and I kind of go from there but with these it's harder because this isn't a typical weekly spread where I can like cover boxes and stuff like that like I've done in my normal weekly planners in my older videos I actually need for the words to show <laughs> because these are my lesson plans and because they are my lesson plans they are my records so um, I will be printing these out and keeping them in a binder they may never even ask for these but I have to keep track of all my records. So you keep track of your lesson plans, you keep samples of work. Um, if you have never known anything about homeschooling, you know that each state is different. And um, so with my state, we have to keep records. They may never ask for them, um, but a part of keeping records is keeping lesson plans. Um, so, so I am complying with the state, but I'm also having fun doing it. <laughs> So this fashion doll came from my favorite, excuse me, I hit the microphone, came from my favorite, 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 favorite fashion doll, digital artist, Glam Marks. She is top notch for me when it comes to designing fashion dolls. And oh, so I grabbed the entire bundle for the teaching. And um, I remember when I asked her and I was like, are you going to do any teachers? And she was like, I got you because she did a nursing one first. She did a nursing bundle. And I was like, um, what about us teachers? You know, how about us? <laughs> and she was like, I'm already working on it. So I was so excited um, when she released that bundle. It was amazing. So I try to incorporate um, one of the teachers into every spread that I do. It doesn't always happen, but for the most part, I get to add them in there. But I am taking this um, sweater bundle and I have to say it. You ready for it? Sweater weather. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have to say it. But I'm going to use this and I'm going to try to find a good combo and I'm going to use that as a divider. And um, I like to divide stuff off to the side and anything extra that I have to put in there. I do that. Um, we are having to switch my son's uh, piano teacher again. We just cannot find a good flow um, with a piano teacher. It's like we go in and we pay for the lessons and they're like, here's a book, read the book. And I expect you to know this when you come back without teaching anything. And it's, it's frustrating because he wants to learn. And I found actually found a really good online service and he has been doing that versus going into the physical lessons and he's learned a lot more with that versus going into lessons so we might just do that for a little while um but you know with homeschool you just try to get them out of the house you know to be around people but i also don't want him you know not getting a good lesson i think that makes sense in my brain <laughs> Um, but so we are on a search for a good, if you guys know any good, um, piano, guitar, um, online lessons, um, let me know cause we are looking, <laughs> but anywho, I am trying to find what I want to put in this corner. Cause I'm like, I'm not going to put a fashion doll in the corner. Cause I always put a fashion doll in the corner. I'm not going to do that. Girl, you know, I put a fashion doll in this corner. I did not use this, even though it is gorgeous. This will be used in a future, um, a future journaling spread, of course. Um, I just didn't think my lesson plan, um, did this justice. So, although you see me trying to make it work, uh, it, it didn't work. <laughs> you see the question mark? I'm like, I'm... I don't know. It, it, I didn't like it. So I went, I'm very hesitant. I always go back to my previous spreads. This is the bundle that I was telling you about. I grabbed a few of them and put them in my own little sticker book. Um, I've been doing that a lot lately. Um, cause I'm a very visual person. If I don't see it, I don't know I have it. So, um, look at that. Oh, that's going to be a journaling spread. So I just, I will leave a link down below to those, like it all came separate. It was, I had a ton of the autumn girls, the autumn front porches, all that. I'll just leave a link to her shop because her kits, you get like a hundred, you get at least 70 to a hundred of whatever it is, including the bookshelves and they're less than a dollar y'all. I'm not joking. <laughs> it's less than a dollar I I have been going crazy like I don't even know if it's in my budget to get Christmas kits so we're gonna have to find like some discounted kits when it comes to Christmas because I think I went over my budget for um for fall stickers yeah don't tell my husband <laughs> I'm kidding. He knows. I didn't go over my budget, but I am inching very closely to it. And uh, I had to be stopped. But look at this. She's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> so um, I used two fashion dolls again. Um, I'm sticking with what I know. And I used a white. I did like the lasso. Um, tool and I did like a square and I clicked on it and took a screenshot copy paste and it gave me the whiteout bar and I used that to cover the bottom portion that's what I'm doing right here because I wanted to get rid of that line because I didn't want that line to show and I'm going to have to take everything down here and copy and paste it again because in good notes still they still haven't given us the option to move stuff front and back i heard somewhere that they did do that but i haven't figured out how to move objects you know between front and back if you guys know how to do that please let me know um because we've been asking good notes 
please do this. Like we need this. Every other software has that where you can click on the object and say, move to the front or move to the back, except for GoodNotes. And it's annoying, especially for us digital girls, digital planners, digital journals, digital Bible journalers. Like we do 90% of our work in GoodNotes and we can't move stuff around like we want to. But anywho, that's my, that's my ramble for GoodNotes. All right. So now we're going to do <laughs> this bottom washi um, and I'm grabbing the hat and I'm grabbing a pumpkin that is so cute. So I'm going to do the pumpkin with the florals, the hat, and then the center is going to be this beautiful candle set. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I, I just, I went crazy and when I saw it, I was like, I'm going to use this for my day covers. So I did. So I just made that the center piece. And then I repeated the pumpkin florals and hat on the other side and kind of like made that a little bigger and added some falling leaves because it's fall. I know technically it is still summer, but y'all know in my brain, once, <laughs> once, September 1st is over, which is my husband's birthday. I let him have his birthday. He is a summer baby. I'm a fall baby. I was like, I'm going to give it to the 4th. Once September 4th hits, it's fall. In my house, at least. I don't know about y'all, but as for me in my house, September 4th means it's fall. <laughs> so I did that all throughout and it looks so good. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. I just love it when it, the spread just all comes together and it just makes me so happy. You know, and you guys can probably tell like a difference in my voice. Like, oh, she sounds a little bit more excited. Speaking of a difference in my voice, I hit my microphone again. Um, I had, I had an ear in, not infection, like an earache, um, two days ago and I'm still recovering from it. I feel 10 times better but I normally record my videos with my AirPods as of late. Um, I used to record it with this microphone, um, but I haven't done it in a really long time and I need my ears to get a break because <laughs> I'm not ready to put my AirPods back on. So I'm using my microphone. So if you hear a vocal difference, um, it's because I'm using my microphone and I think it sounds better with the microphone, just the AirPods are more convenient. It blocks out all the noise for me and I can't hear everything that's going on. Um, so yeah, but if you guys hear a difference, that's what it is. Okay, so now I am decorating the spaces um, within the lesson plans that I have, still making sure that my lesson plans can be seen and are legible for me to read. Um, so I grabbed this beautiful, cozy chair with the blanket and they got like a little coffee and a little kettle and oh, it just looks really, really cozy. Like it's bundled up with the book. And then the quote that I grabbed to go with that is grateful, thankful, and blessed. Amen. <laughs> so I really, really like that. Um, it just looked really, really cute. And then I grabbed some, look at that, that's the quote. And I grabbed some pumpkins and spread it that throughout. So we are, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. We're almost done. I still am going to flip the truck facing the opposite direction. But I just want to say, if you are new to my channel, hello. I want to say hi to all my new subscribers. I see you down there subscribing to my channel and I am so, so grateful. It means the world to me. The algorithm has been wonky. That's the word we'll use today, wonky. It's been wonky lately. And um, so you guys, if you would really like my video, click the like button down below. It really, really helps my channel and I greatly appreciate it. It is a blessing to me and um, I appreciate it. So like and subscribe down below and let's get back into these lesson plans. So if you watched my last journal with me video, my cozy journal with me video, I showed you how I took um, a chair into Procreate and flipped it. You can do 
that in Canada as well. Um, if you have a subscription with Canva, um, you can do that and then re-download it with the background. Now, if you don't, you're going to have a background. Just take it in Magic Eraser and clear the background and then save it and put it back in here. So there are ways around it. Um, so you don't have to pay the money uh, with subscriptions and stuff. So here you see me, I'm circling that I'm going to take some of these um, falling leaf flourishes and I'm going to spread them throughout. And what I decided to do is make it look like the leaves are falling from the girl. So it's going to go down and then it's kind of like the wind is blowing them all over the place. That was the effect that I was going for. Um, so I thought that looked really, really cute. And it kind of looked like as they were coming up to towards the girl at the bottom, um, it looks like all the leaves were like blowing behind her. So I thought that was really cute. A little, a little pop because you know, y'all, y'all know I have to have my little pop in my spreads. Um, but yeah, we're almost done y'all. How do you think this spread looks so far? Um, if you've made it this far in the video and, uh, there are fall leaves, yeah, so leave me a bunch of fall leaves and tell me when does fall officially start in your house? For me, it's September 4th um, and I start decorating for Christmas in November. <laughs> I'm not even going to tell you when. Um, when we get to November, I'll tell you. <laughs> but uh, yes, fall is my favorite season. I am a fall baby. I My birthday is November 30th. So I am a Sagittarius. Yes, me am. Um, <laughs> but I love fall. Fall just brings out all of my creative juices and I absolutely go for it. But here, as we are coming to an end, you see I have taken those candles and I've used it as a date cover and I do what I normally do. I um, double up the dates. I put the background as black and then I change the color for the front and move it slightly to the right to give it a shadow effect and it gives it the pop that it needs and yeah I love it it's so beautiful I did not use my heart flourishes I was looking for a little pop a little extra pop and then I was like nah this is good so I just added some more leaves floating around and that was about it so y'all, as I finish uh, making her pretty, I, what am I doing here? Oh, I'm adding in his handwriting page. My son does cursive, a cursive handwriting page every day. That's his morning work. Um, I like doing that because in the Good and the Beautiful book, it has scriptures in it. So it's kind of like Bible and handwriting at the same time. Um, and then I'm just going through and working on the spacings and perfecting stuff, but we are done. We are all done. The spread is done. That is week six of homeschool and we start week seven on Monday. So thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me some fall leaves down below and don't forget to tell me when does fall officially start in your house? Okay, guys, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for sticking with me. All right. Bye, guys.